Hey guys, I'm the Man 3 and welcome on to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add green screen, GFX or graphics to your stream. Just like this one, add an explosion or something like this. Victory. Or even something as silly as this. Absolutely nonsense. Anyway guys, make sure you <laughs> make sure you like, subscribe and comment and uh, make sure you go follow my Twitch channel, the Panaman 3 first link in the description. So we're back, we're into the uh, Streamlabs OBS currently. Currently got one scene open. What we want to do is we want to add our graphics to OBS. So that's pretty easy to do. All we need to do is go into uh, the internet browser, which is just here. Um, we can find a green screen explosion just for example purposes. Um, so what I searched up is green screen explosion. And here we go, we've got a green screen around and there's an explosion. Um, so what we want to do is we want to copy that and download that so we can export that to Streamlabs. This is what we need to do next is we need to download the video, which is just here. Uh, we need to click this website, will take us to the little screen thingy. Um, what we need to do is we need to hit, hit the little options window on the top, on the bottom right of it. We need to click on download. And uh, on the bottom, we will, on our, well, since we're using Chrome, we see a little video player thing on the bottom. Here. So now we have the video downloaded from YouTube, the green screen video in our folders now. So there are multiple ways of exporting this onto OBS. You can drag it in manually and it will go in and copy, or you can add it manually by going into the little plus button down here, plus button. Uh, clicking on media source, add in a new source. What we're going to be doing is adding an mp4 file. So we click on add source. We can call it green screen explosion. Add new source. And what we want to do is we want to browse for that file now, um, which is just here green screen videos, green screen explosion. We want to click it's open. And there we go, we have the green screen explosion in Streamlabs OBS currently. And we want to put it on a loop at the moment so we can kind of see what we're doing. So now we can see the green screen explosion. So what we want to do is make it a bit bigger so we can see what we're working with at the moment. Um, so here we have the green screen explosion. Now this is the source the green screen explosion is in, the top source in Streamlabs. So what we want to do is we want to right click that and we want to click on filters. That is uh, that is the one we want to click on so we can add the chroma key to it so we can get rid of the green and make it look a bit better. What we want to do is we want to add a filter so the plus button just up here is we want to click that. Uh, now we have plenty of options here of what we can do with this video. We can add all these different effects to it. We can add color correction. But today we're just going to be doing a chroma key. So we're just going to get rid of the green. The chroma key is just at the bottom down here. So we just want to click that. And then what we want to do, and then if the name will say chroma key, we want to keep that. It doesn't really matter too much. And um, so as you can see already here, OBS has already cropped out most of the green. It's done a pretty good job already um, of automatically getting out all the green. And it kind of just looks like the explosion now. Okay, so guys, once we've done that, we have some options here to edit with the green screen. And it looks like we don't really need to at this stage. But if uh, the image of the green screen if the GFX doesn't look as good or it doesn't look as doesn't look as clean, um, we can mess with some of the settings here. This is a similarity, so this is how much green you'll see, and this is how like crisp it can be. And we just want to adjust that side accordingly, so we don't not see any more green. And um, this is the smoothness where we where we currently see how smooth the image is and how rough it can be. Um, we don't really need to mess with that too much. Um, there are these options, which are the contrast, the brightness, and the gamma. That's the coloring and the brightness of the actual green screen itself. Um, also, we don't really want to mess with that unless we're doing a very specific kind of green screen GFX. Um, but at this moment, we don't need to get that advanced. So what we want to cook is done. And here you go, we have the, the explosion just here now. So as you can see, oh, I don't want to mess with that, do I? Um, so what you can see is you got, we have achieved 
the explosion coming onto the screen. Now we see the explosion uh, plane as it is right now. As you can see, it's playing over and over again. So what we want to do is we want to turn the loop off from that. So what we want to do is we want to go to the green screen source, the source the uh, the, of the explosion. Um, so it's green screen explosion, just the top source is what we named it. Um, and then we want to click on, we want to untick loop. So we don't have to see it every, every, every time. So only play once. Then we want to click on done. So now if we want to get our explosion on a certain timing, or if we want to activate it with a certain key, it's very easy to do. And we want to set that as a hot key. So what we want to do is we want to hit the little settings cog at the top right of the screen, just here. Um, we want to click on hotkeys which is just uh, I saw it before there it is just hotkeys over here we want to click on that um, so here we have our, our hotkey selections so as you can see we have a green screen explosion hotkey it's a thing that you can activate through a keyboard a stream tech or an external keyboard um, it's e it's as easy as just pressing a key and uh, your source or your scene will be visible. This comes in handy for more advanced OBS and Streamlabs scene changes or opening sources or closing sources. Um, hotkeys become very useful in that department and that's what the Stream Deck is also used for quite a bit. Um, but for this example, what we're going to do is we're going to activate the explosion through our keyboard. So it's as easy as typing in. We could, so we have two options here. We have show green screen explosion so this will show the source um, this will show the explosion on the screen and we can activate that with any key on our keyboard so what we're gonna do for example we're gonna put on we're gonna activate it with the key one and then it says hide green screen explosion as well so we also want to do that we will deactivate the green screen source by pressing 2 so we have our green screen effect hot keyed successfully um, we have our two keys, show source, which is hotkey as one, or hide source, which is hotkey as the number two. Now, any of these can be used in any sort of key. So just for example purposes, as before, I'm only using the key one and two. Um, but when we want to activate our scene, all we need to do is press one. And then we want to activate, deactivate it. All we need to press is two. So activate is one, and there we go. We have our green screen explosion on prompt, just when we need to play. If we'd like to add more green screen uh, memes or effects to our stream, it is so easy to do. We can just go on YouTube and there are plenty on the site where we can find them. Um, we can pretty much just do this with anything. Um, there are memes, there are effects. There's just a whole ton here. So guys, I hope this video helped you add graphics to your stream. Um, I know there isn't many YouTube videos on YouTube about it, so I hope this video helps just a little bit. Um, if you would like any more help or assistance or ask a question, please go out and check out my Twitch channel, The Panda Man 3, which will be the first link in the description. Um, please go check that out. Um, this is one of my first uploads on YouTube, so I would love to, uh, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. Um, about how I did and uh, if you would like any more assistance in different departments of OBS um, Thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye